now we are going to the sisters from Mother Teresa. Brother, the brother, the community of Mother Teresa. Yeah. Really here close by the basilic. Mother, Mother Teresa. The but it doesn't. Yeah, there you go. And they are really lovely and poor and simple community. Wow. They are living by the providence. Mm -hmm. And they are making adoration 24 hours 7. Always they have wow. adoration. Uh -huh. And they uh, really, really give the new community from uh, 2015 and 16. They start to be in Nazareth. Yeah. And exactly next door to the sister of Nazareth, small door now, you will see. Always they have adoration inside. Okay, good. Yeah. There we are. The sisters of Nazareth convent. We passed this morning. There's again the Protestant church, Anglican church, and we go to the sisters now. Used to be a, a, chair, a school. Yeah. And they wow. This feels like India. Summer time they use outside. Uh huh. Inside is really wow. Can have. Uh, yeah. This is my friend too. He is uh, good English. You can speak with him. Hello. Nice to meet you. I have a YouTube channel. And it's nice. Really? How are you? Yeah. Tom from Medjugorje. He lives oh. in Medjugorje. Really? Yes, I love it. And yeah. making always uh, videos wow. for the Catholic Church religious and wow. uh, experience for his experience come here. To yes. Meet. How about and how is life in Nazareth? Do you like it? How is life in Nazareth? Yes. Oh, it's Terrible. Splendid. <laughs> splendid. Uh -huh. uh, life is in Nazareth is very mm -hmm. spiritual. Mm -hmm. um, you can find, you know, a lot of churches you can mm -hmm. go to uh, Jesus anytime you like mm -hmm. um, so it's very nice to be in Nazareth in terms of spirituality so it's all open for you mm -hmm. and um, to be honest uh, after 56 years mm -hmm. um, you know and understanding what what is uh, the true needs of of each one of us. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a big grace to be here. So yes, I feel it's amazing to be in. in we were yesterday adoration in the basilica and it was amazing. Yeah. You say, yes. but is it a basilica by the way, or is it this this basi an Annunciation yeah. basilica? Yeah, yeah it's yes, a basilica. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's unbelievable, beautiful inside. Yeah, special. When I came the first time, I entered, you know, and I felt I have to do confession. I did. There was a priest yes. there. I directly confessed yes. something in that place. No. And this is yeah. also a very special place. Mm -hmm. This is uh, uh, missionaries of charity mm -hmm. from uh, Mother uh, Teresa. Yeah. Um, and we have a small chapel here, mm -hmm. and we have also uh, adoration okay. uh, all the day from mm -hmm. the morning till the evening, mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have also uh, lay missionaries of charity. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, actually, I, we started the group last year, mm -hmm. and uh, we follow the spirituality of the missionaries of charity. Yeah. And Mother Teresa spiritu spirituality. Mm -hmm. So we are growing. We are working on ourselves. Beautiful. And uh, uh, this group, actually, uh, or the idea is just to follow uh, the gospel mm -hmm. and uh, have uh, uh, special uh, uh, intentions for mm -hmm. ourselves to mm -hmm. clean ourselves first and then uh, our families mm -hmm. and start from this starting point yeah. so we are like working uh, we are inside our two years of preparation mm -hmm. for, uh, uh, you know, getting our vows. Mm -hmm. As lay people? Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Amazing. So you pray the rosary as well? We pray the rosaries and we do a lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, stuff, um, but we are not a prayer group. Mm -hmm. um, so. What do you do then? Well, we have like statues, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we follow these statues mm -hmm. that is identical to the gospel mm -hmm. uh, teaching, mm -hmm. helping the poor. And we just work on ourselves, just to be uh, soldiers, true soldiers, not you know being inside the church and living a different life outside, uh, double life, double life. So this is the the movement mm -hmm. that we are starting. Mm -hmm. 
and this is what we think will help us reach our destiny. Yes, the final Eternal destination. Destiny. Of the yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. How beautiful. Thank you, sir. And you're welcome. Yeah. Before, a couple of uh, six, seven months, mm -hmm. he was contacting me to come to Medjugorje. Now, mm -hmm. you should tell him about Medjugorje and to give him the courage. Yeah, actually, my him. wife has, yeah. has been there yeah. Yeah. four years ago. Look, I'll show like you that. something. You should see that. Sure. Look here. There you go. You go to Medjugorje. All right. All right. You know? I would love to. I think this is Our Lady inviting you, you know. It's okay. no coincidence that we appear here, you know. Okay. You have I, I accept the invitation. Yeah. I'll be the, this year. I'll be there. Yes. yes, because you have already. You know, the spirit of Medjugorje is the calmness you have, yeah. calm and a calm, peaceful, yes. joyfulness. You yes. know, and that's beautiful. And also tell how can people find you? You are a tour guide. How can you, they contact you? And, and if they want to know, somebody's watching the video now. Okay. How could he contact you? My telephone. The telephone number. I will put it below. In the, in the description of the video, you can say it also here now, your phone number? Yeah, my phone number, uh, private one, 054-52-773-52. Repeat it my, one more yeah. My name is Osama Daniel. Mm -hmm. You are welcome to can contact me. Mm -hmm. If it's uh, something that is related to the gospel and to Our Lady and uh, to Nazareth, I would, you know, um, uh, be, um, you know, uh, I'll try to help mm -hmm. any any way. And you said like you know you're working on yourself. I see you found peace and you knew. I see that. How, how there are a lot of people out there in the world they don't have that peace. What would you tell them? What what should they do? <laughs> well, actually, uh, even non-Christian, non-Catholic, what would you tell them? Actually, if if they w really want the peace, mm -hmm. they should look for it. Mm -hmm. They should uh, approach mm -hmm. uh, Jesus because he is the light and he has the peace. We have, as Catholics, uh, you know, after Mass, um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the, the preacher, mm -hmm. the, no, not the, the preacher, pre the priest, the priest, yeah. the priest. That's okay. Say, peace be with you, right? And he repeats it often during yes. the Mass. Yes, and, and this <coughs> is very interesting. The peace is not uh, a peace of tranquility uh, that we usually seek or we usually have uh, during our like uh, material life. So if we really want this peace, there's no other way than, you know, to come closer to Jesus. Mm -hmm. to the, like the girl the now, the woman is going to adoration, yeah? Yes. Even though, you know, the, the body, the, uh, our eyes, our five senses is uh, blind. Sometimes um, when you start doing that, you will not really uh, capture or understand. But if you come closer to the light, slowly you will start feeling it spiritually so wonderful this is the, you know, the advice you would give exactly wow okay thank yeah. you so much for this interview you are most welcome